Hi Jaspreet, how have you been? I've been amazing. How have you been? I have been good as well. And hello listeners, it's good to be back again. Yes, back with the bank. Thank you so much for all your support and listening to us. Um we got feedback from some of our friends. Uh, thank you so much for sharing your feedback. Thank you so much for listening to us. Keep hearing us and keep giving your feedbacks. We appreciate feedbacks because we always want to learn. Absolutely, Jas. And I think uh, considering that this is the second episode, we are going to share something new and uh, something that we hope will help you also evolve. Yes, so we've kind of had a long day today. Um, it's evening here. Kupa, how was your day? Well, just like you know, it's been a day that is uh, a regular day, basically uh, a day hashtag, you know, agency life. Absolutely. Yes. Okay. Gopa, why don't you tell our listeners whether are you a morning person or are you a night owl? Well, I think just you know what I am. But okay, listeners. So now that we are talking about it, let me just tell you that I am not at all a morning person. I'm a night owl. And well, let's keep the morning time hush hush because I would never want to share that. However, it's not that late that I wake up. I mean, I wake up in the you know regular timing only. But yeah, later than most of the people. But that's how my morning starts. And once it starts, I get ready and I buckle up for the day. So guys, uh, like I've already shared in my last in our last epi- episode, basically that I uh, am a social media person. I started off with content and then I moved on to social media marketing. So I primarily work with organic social media marketing and currently at Brand Mender, that is my team. I have a team of people who works with social media calendars, planning, strategizing. So all of that and I lead that team and I am telling you, it's not an easy day. You know, it starts probably with a huge high waved graph and then probably it falls down. And every day is not the same. First and foremost, I can never plan my day. You know just, right? Because you always get to plan your day and I can't ever. I know, absolutely. Like for me, my day is all full of tick mark activities. Um, However, I have heard you say so many times that you can never ever plan your day. Not at all, because, you know, like organic social media marketing is something that, you know, a lot of things come in and out. Sometimes there are new posts of uh, are there something that's trending. I need to discuss that with my team. Sometimes there are a lot of F ups. You know what I mean, right? So the client would get mad and, you know, it's 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 very important to deal with them. But thankfully, uh, we do have a good team, you know, who helps me coordinate with the clients and Finally, we get that sorted with the team. But just, I think my day is not at all like you. Tell the listeners about your day as well. Yes, I think, Gopa, you know how my day looks. It's pretty much a tick mark activity. Um, But very similar, I think something that is similar between both our days is the fact that we do a lot of things in a day. Like um, there are so many things. Multitasking is honestly an understatement to what we have to do every single day um, in terms of talking to clients, getting new clients on board, pitching uh, new clients, resolving their queries, ensuring the work is correctly done. My work is more heavier to the paid side and SEO. So ensuring campaigns are running fine, there's no problem, CPLs are maintained, um, a lot of other technical uh, bits here and there. Uh, However, I feel that being entrepreneurs, Our days are pretty long with a lot of tasks lined up. Oh, yes, I absolutely agree there. You know, in a day, like ups and downs are such a big, big parcel of our lives. Sometimes a day goes as per the plan and sometimes it goes haywire. Yes, absolutely. I think uh, when we look at every single day, we feel that we've done so much. However, uh, when we go back and see a month, we see the progress, you know, uh, sometimes we feel lost. Um, the reason we've kind of made this past, made this podcast today is to convey our listeners saying that being an entrepreneur is never easy. It's very different to having a job because sometimes you sit back and contemplate saying, okay, you don't know where you're headed. You don't know whether you are proceeding in the right direction. The future looks blank at times. And that is a time where you should remember that persistence is the key. 
True, Jas. I absolutely agree to that. Persistence is the key. But how do you have that persistence? If it happens only if you have passion for your work. And when I say you need to have passion for your work, I mean brand mender, right? Brand mender is our baby. And when I say brand mender is our baby, you know, it's like just like having. And when I say baby, I think mothers will be able to relate to this. But babies are often sometimes they are very cranky. They would cry the whole day, and then it becomes so difficult to handle the baby, right? But at days on there, there are also days when the baby is you know happy, chirpy, is you know all smiles and laughing, and that is a moment when as a mother and as a mom, you have the best feeling in the world. Am I right, Jess? Absolutely, and I think you know what that same feeling we get when a client would appreciate our feelings and say that okay. Brand Mender is an organization, is a dedicated organization. The team is strong. We're able to deliver to what we've promised to them, and that is absolute the same, absolutely the same feeling that we get um, as what you compare to of a mother. The relationship between a mother and uh, their child. It's a very very sensitive relationship. Sometimes mothers are lost in terms of okay, you know, uh, they don't know whether they do they heading the right way. There's so much to learn about parenting. On similar lines, there's so much to learn about entrepreneurs. And I think Gupta that we've always believed that we will never know it all, people. And we're always gradually every single day we learn from our team, we learn from our clients. And one thing that I would want to convey to all our listeners. is that never stop learning the day you feel you've conquered it all the day you start feeling that you're the most biggest fish in the sea is when your progress halts i think these are certain points that as entrepreneurs everyone should remember the entrepreneurs who are already successful or the ones that are striving to be successful or wanting to take up that leap of faith and get into it never ever stop learning you are so right in saying that just i think learning is a continuous process and you know even after uh, 12 plus years of uh, experience i feel i'm still learning and there is so much to learn like every day we are learning from our team from our employees even from our clients ha just i you know that reminds me uh, of the incident that happened last week you remember uh, one of our employees they uh, you know he came up with this news suddenly on a monday morning on a beautiful monday morning that you know one of our client approached him to make some thank you card some personal card for uh, uh you know their own personal usage and then and the employee was so sweet that he worked on it he delivered it and we were not even aware of that i mean that was some, that was something that really made me smile and it was like a you know a moment you know i really would like to keep cherished and that is something you know i have learned from our my employee as well absolutely the fact that um you know our teammate ended up working on a weekend to ensure that something at a personal level was delivered to the client help us understand that how sincere certain teammates are where they went ahead and and that they were able to keep up with a very integral value of brand mender being maintaining a healthy client relationship and these moments like these help us make like they make us feel proud and help us re re assure that we are going in the right direction now that you are talking about the relationship uh, between us and the clients just another thing that's just coming to my mind is you know uh, i mean i got the call today morning itself from another client of ours and the client told that you know they want to go ahead and give us another brand and do you know the reason why the reason is that one of our team members you know he delivered such good work the client was so happy that they went ahead and they had trust they believed in us and they came up with a new brand for us doesn't that feel amazing just absolutely i think you're absolutely right but having said that you know it's not all that glitters is not gold right everything we've been talking about all the moments that make us feel proud we go through our set of lows as well there are times where the heads you know the vertical heads end up making some silly mistake and then you're so disappointed so it's basically an emotional roller coaster that we go through every day but the idea is to not lose hope the idea is to not give up the idea is to be persistent and keep continuing 
Yes, Jess, you are right. And with that note, I think we can conclude today's episode and tell our listeners that if you have any dream, don't stop dreaming and start following it and go on until you are able to achieve it. That's what we did. And today we are here and very soon we are going to, you know, uh, have the fifth anniversary of Brand Mender, which we've been trying to, you know, uh, mention over and over again in every episode. But yeah, I mean, probably will bore you uh, with that uh, statement. Uh, with that, uh, ciao listeners. That's all from my side. And we hope to uh, catch up again very soon in the next episode. Adios. Adios.